Hello everyone, it is John and today's video is about Renegade Legion Centurion. Yes, grav tanks, infantry, all sorts of ground warfare in the year 6500 or something I think it is. So um, yes, I rather regret not being able to have gotten uh, Interceptor and uh, Leviathan. Um, so uh, yeah, but it's a collect. <coughs> Pardon me, it's the collector in me. Oh dear, <coughs> it's winter here finally. We've got some one of those rare cold snaps here in Brisbane, where it's um, yeah just a tad bit chilly, and because I do these very early in the morning, um, yeah, you're not quite seeing the steam, but oh, God, it's cold. Uh, well, it's not cold. Look, I'm used to the cold, but um, it's unusual to be cold. Yeah, so uh, not used to sucking in cold air. Why do we listen to this old man rant? Look, getting back to this, this is Centurion. So let's go and have a look at what's in this box. Right, let's have a look at Renegade Legion. Centurion, Blood and Steel. This is the uh, grab tank, I think. Or the uh, this is the uh, the back side of it. So it's yeah, this is the grab tank side of ground warfare in the year sixty eight thirty grab tanks. Bounce Infantry, Hell Rounds, Thor Anti-Tank Satellites and Close Air Support are all part of this highly mobile air-land battle of the future. Well, I can't quite remember those aspects. <laughs> all I remember is the, uh, is the Grav Tanks. So in this, you get 30 full-colour, three-dimensional playing pieces, which you'll see shortly. For the 10 grab tanks that are in this game, there's a rule book, uh, and then there's two large uh, 24 by 36 inch uh, double sided. Oh, I didn't realise they're double sided. It shows you I haven't I haven't looked at this game uh, in uh, in well decades. And when was this? 1988. So certainly probably not since the late 80s. Lots of counters, and apparently a ten-sided dice, which I guarantee is probably not in here. But let's go have a look. Oh, dear. As always, can't get anything out. So these are the maps, which look very, very, very fascist side style, don't they? Um, so yes, yes. So, uh, I'm, as usual, having some problems. With, uh, oh dear. Yes, nobody noticed that I was away for two seconds, did they? No, of course not. Nobody ever, nobody listens to me. So, these are the maps, which are quite nice. You could quite easily use them for Battletech, which I'm quite sure quite a few enterprising people would have done. So, so yes, there you go. That's, that's those maps. Then, well, this isn't part of the, uh, the package, but I have here... The, uh, one of the booklets, one of the, uh, so it's this Harbingers of Death. So this would have just been a uh, scenario booklet dealing with units, tanks, and uh, scenarios, I presume, scenarios to play, yeah. Oh, and some... Some stats, stat sheets that you can 
that you can use. But that was obviously one of the one of the booklets that were very much like the Battletech line. So here's the Legions Legions book. This I think is all about Tog and uh, its organisation, which is quite good if you're interested in in that. And then it just details all the uh, the vehicles that are in the are in the game. So uh, quite pleased everything is. And then there's the Renegade Legion, which are the uh, which I can't quite remember. Yeah, which deals mainly with the uh, aliens. That there was at the time, there was a lovely little computer game that dealt with the. Um, there was a spaceship combat version for this. I missed getting the airship. The uh, uh, yeah, the uh, the aircraft or the spaceship version, but the. Uh, the computer one was was really really good because it dealt with if you took too high high G turn, your aircraft had um, you'd black out and it'd do all your craft would do all sorts of crazy things and it was it was magnificent. But, uh, yeah, so this is the rules and uh, and that. So it's uh, still in really good. Quite good condition. I've I've got the um, the uh, initial role playing book. I may have a couple of the supplements for it. I can't quite remember, uh, but they're sitting on my shelf somewhere behind me somewhere. Um, these are the these are the sheets with which you record. There's scenarios. In the centre, oh, and then we had a whole heap of um, flowcharts for the satellites. So that was uh, hey, probably not some people's cup of tea today. I don't know, young people don't like anything that's too complicated. They like things to be handed to them on a platter. So that uh, that's a nice. Well, even old people today don't seem to like anything being too difficult. So I think it's more a uh, a societal problem rather than rather than anything else. Oh, look, that's obviously a photocopy. And then we come to the now these little templates are what we use to mark out the damage on the. So when you were hit with a Say, for instance, a, a, a 100 millimeter hammerhead round. You would mark that off from, you know, from from whatever position it would uh, hit you on. So, you know, from there it'd go through and obviously penetrate. So, yeah, it's 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 nice. It's Perhaps too complicated for some people, but I thought it was a nice way to do things. I think they did the same system for Crimson Skies, which is another video that will be coming along eventually. But uh, they had their, as you can see, all the, uh, quite happy, all the uh, counters are still with me. So they're all well and good. interesting. I'm trying to work out why there are die sixes in here when they said, oh no, there it is. There's a die ten. Look, there's the die ten. I was wrong. And they got two die six. I wonder what the... And that's the standard dice that FASA gave with the Battletech stuff. So there's the, the counter. Uh, there's the those. And then here are the, uh, the three-dimensional grab tanks. Different, I suppose. Certainly different from the uh, oh, okay pencil sharpener. <laughs> Find all sorts of things when I go through my boxes that I haven't had a look at for ages. 
So, yeah, there you go. That is the uh, Renegade Legion and Centurion. Yes, I had to go look at that one again, didn't I? <laughs> Just to show you, I clearly have not looked at this in a very long time. And uh, I haven't played it in a very, very long time. So it's a... Um... But, again, it's a, it's a nice game. I played it a few times in the day, uh, mainly against a, an old friend of mine, Anthony. Um, we played it and... Uh, the uh, and the starship and the starship version. So it's uh, certainly been a game I think that is well worth going back and actually having another look at. And uh, look, if you have played this game, I'd be curious as to what your what your thoughts are. Did you like the game? Did you uh, you know? Is it uh, Did you enjoy it? Let me know. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.